A-A-Ron. Yeah. Why didn't you say it the first time I said A-A-Ron? Because it's pronounced Aaron. You done messed up, A-A-Ron! A.A. Ron is right here, everyone. Thank you for joining me for a little bit more SPTV. Well, remember, everybody, every day is a great day not to be in a cult. Scientology done messed up. They done messed up when they go after someone who has actual influence and an actual platform like Megyn Kelly. And they really done messed up when they do it for no reason at all i've i've, I've um, thought about what sequence to present some information to you i'm going to start with the video that scientology is attacking her for the problem with doing it that way is i want I, what i wanted to be able to do was show you the vicious attacks and then show you the video and then so you like uh, but anyway i'm going to decide to show you the video first by the way you guys know i don't do politics on this channel the only reason we're doing Megan a Megan Kelly bit here is because zero politics are discussed. It's completely about Leah Remini and her lawsuit. So, and I'm going to play this on 1.25 speed if it sounds a little funny. So, um, let me pull it up. And, and and the crazy thing about Scientology versus Megan Kelly is Megan Kelly in the past has has done a lot of exposure on Scientology fraud and abuse. She's interviewed Mike Rinder a couple times, and but then Megyn Kelly also supports Grant Cardone and Elena Cardone. Megyn Kelly, after I show you the video that Scientology is then attacking her for, and I'll show you their attacks, I'm then going to show you a video of Megyn Kelly hanging out with the Cardones, like their BFFs, and she helps promote their business scams, and, uh, and she spoke at one of Elena's events where Scientology booklets are being passed out. And it's hard for me to believe that Megyn Kelly does not understand that the Cardones are two of the biggest recruiters and financial supporters of Scientology. I just don't find it even possible to believe that. So I don't know how to connect all of these dots. But all of that being said, Let's take a look at the video Scientology is losing its freaking mind about. Here we go. Okay, that's not the right video. Let's give it a shot. Um, okay, right. so let me shift gears and talk about Scientology and Leah Remini for a minute because she's now finally, after years of complaining about Scientology, filed a lawsuit against them claiming they used, quote, mob style. Got to be honest. I cringed a little bit at the use of the word complaining. File tactics to harass and defame her. It's been filed in Superior Court in Los Angeles County, so state court there. She lists the church, their, quote, religious technology center as defendants, along with David Miscavige, who was sort of the heir to the L. Ron mm -hmm. Hubbard, uh, who started the Church of Scientology, saying, for 17 years, Scientology and Miscavige have subjected me to what I believe to be psychological torture, defamation, surveillance, harassment, and intimidation, significantly impacting my life and career. I believe I'm not the first person to have gone through this. They call her lawsuit mm -hmm. absolutely ludicrous and say that th she's been attacking them for 10 years or plus since she left the church and they have every right to defend themselves, Peter, by saying she's no good. So what do you make of it? By the way, Peter Tregos right there is on YouTube as the lawyer you know. Uh, he's in Clearwater. I drive by his office every time I go to Costco and we're even Facebook friends. Isn't that cute? Yeah, absolutely. And I happen to be here in Clearwater. That's where my law firm is, at least the main office. So I have some experience with Scientology and they have a lot of money a lot of power, a lot of influence, a lot of lawyers, and this is going to be a heavily litigated case. This is one I do not expect to go go away quickly or quietly. Leah Remini has a legitimate bone to pick with them if she feels she's abused by the religion that is set up that is Scientology, but they will not go quietly, and they go after people personally when something like this comes up. So I think it is, it's going to get dirty in the media, and uh, this is going to be a case that I think is going to be a tough one to follow, but maybe one that people need to see. So, Viva, uh, she here's a soundbite of Leah back in 2016, okay, seven years ago. We could go back further talking about Scientology and her views on it. Here it is. If you speak out, you're labeled an enemy to the church, and the church has policies on how to deal with his enemies, and they go after them. Um, it's in their own policies, and so they don't know any different, as I did when I was in the church. So I understand it, and I have compassion for it, because um, you do become a person who's very hateful. Um, and you're very judgmental towards anyone who isn't a Scientologist, and a critic of Scientology is dealt with in a very specific way. Um, and that is unlike a real church. So she's been saying, she was raised in the church, um, and she's alleged that she was subjected to all sorts of abuse while she was there. Scientology has denied it. Um, but she's trying to say it is different, like what they're doing is actual harassment that wouldn't be allowed by a private citizen, never mind a tax-exempt, quote-unquote, church. I, I, um, I am new 
I'm not going to lie. This guy doesn't add anything to the conversation, so we're going to jump ahead. To having to always explain, ref or to inform to the accurate. Don't think hosted her show, her reality. Well, I mean, we've done a lot. We've done a ton of stories on this, and we had Mike Rinder, who was he co-hosted her show, her reality show, which was on for three years. Um, he's an sort of expat from Scientology as well, and he was he was high up in in the church in Sea Org, their sort of governing <laughs> organization. And he said, "Is it is it too much to expect the media personalities who actually understand Scientology a bit, like Megyn Kelly, to say the Sea Org? Is that too much to expect?" Said this to us about the things. This is just back in September of 2022 that they had allegedly done to him yeah. after he left and became a critic. Which you know we should talk about whether this is even legal. Listen. And also, I saw I see someone in the chat pointing out that she called the aftermath show a reality show. Uh, another thing that made me cringe a little bit. The garbage truck had picked up my garbage and driven around uh, the corner and then stopped to make a rendezvous with Mr. Ponytail, who was a private investigator who had actually set up. Um, and worked out of an office across the street. They had set up a, 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 a PI watching station to watch me at the work I was doing at the time. So Mr. Ponytail paid the man, the garbage worker who's leaning on the garbage truck, a certain amount of dollars for the garbage worker to take your garbage and give it to Ponytail? Yeah. <laughs> Among other things. And so this is what they're getting at, that the tactics allegedly used, the church denies it, um, cross a legal line. So I understand the cross is an annoying and ethical line, but does it? cross a legal line i i know where i'd place my bets if i had to bet on that and uh, i would oh, say let's see if we disagree yeah, on this I, one. Mean, I, I think it definitely does i think they're crossing all kinds of lines if they are really invading the privacy of people that really is only done in a way that we've ever heard from law enforcement legally um and i think that there are some bones to pick if you can connect it to scientology and that's the problem they have the money the power the influence that it's never going to be connected back to them by mr ponytail uh for example but i mean there are endless stories of people that feel like they have been abused and used by Scientology, and that tax exemption is the big ticket. It allows them to have a multi-billion dollar religion that they can just continue with the power cycle that they have. And if that ever gets taken away, you better believe things are going to change. Mm, that's huge. Well, I mean, I, we'll see what happens. It's, it's I don't remember a lawsuit like this with somebody of her public profile being uh, filed against Scientology. And in court, it's, you know, you actually have to put up or shut up. So we'll actually see the proof one way or the other. Viva, Peter, what a pleasure. Thank you both. Want to tell you quickly, uh, response from the DA. Okay, good. So that is, let me change the view here real quick. <clears throat> that's the only part of that uh, video that we're going to be taking a look at here. Got to get my screen sharing stuff all properly figured out. Uh, real quick in the chat, um, the guy in the middle named Viva, I don't know who he is. I'm not saying he's not worth listening to. I'm saying in that particular segment, he didn't say anything of value with respect to the Scientology lawsuit. That's all I was saying. Um, okay. So the next thing that I want to show you here, I think it's safe to share screen. Okay. Check this out. Yashar Ali. By the way, in the description down below, I have put a link to Yashar's um, to Yashar's Substack, and uh, he calls this out on Twitter. Scientology-controlled accounts are now attacking Megyn Kelly for talking about Lee Remedy's lawsuit against Scientology on her show. Clips of Scientology paying off sanitation workers for Mike Rinder's garbage were also played, and of course, they continue to smear Leah. Now, before I show you the actual attacks on Megyn, I was struck by how non-committal Megan was in that segment, meaning she let her guests speak. She did not even give her own opinion. She did not actually say anything negative about Scientology. Um, she could have done so much worse, and she didn't, and that's fine. She was being fair. But when you see these attacks, it, it's absolutely incredible. Okay, so here we go. This is a hate monitor, stand monitor. This is one of Scientology's sock accounts. Uh, it makes a strange pair to see Megyn Kelly, who is supposedly a supporter of free speech, throw in with the anti-free speech, hate-inducing bigot Leah Remini. Kelly's career has descended from the top networks to shouting into a podcast microphone because her values are clearly out of whack with most of society, just like Leah Remini's. <laughs> How crazy and out of touch do you have to be <laughs> to attack Megyn Kelly in that sort of cheap, irrelevant way because she merely did a five-minute segment at the end of a nearly two-hour show 
where she brought on two lawyers to share thoughts about the lawsuit. <laughs> Let's see. There, it, it gets better, guys. Oh, let me in this trackpad here. It was a strange experience to watch Megyn Kelly, a supposed supporter of free speech, throw herself in with anti-free speech. Bigot! Leah Remini. In regards to Remini's ludicrous lawsuit, it is personally and professionally embarrassing that Kelly fawns all over Remini, a self-proclaimed pariah. And when the case is adjudicated, it will be utterly humiliating does it not seem like whoever's writing these tweets did not see even one minute of the segment they are criticizing <laughs> because don't get me wrong in the past megan has gone very hard in the paint against scientology particularly in the interview that she did with mike rinder i think there was even more than one interview megan kelly does not like scientology but in that clip that in that little interview clip you wouldn't know it she didn't say anything all right, let's keep going. There's more. There's more. All right. I'm being so careful with this trackpad. It's ridiculous. I feel like an idiot. Hold on, guys. Oh, my God. This is brutal. Jeez Louise. All right. The Expose Network, another one of Scientology's sock accounts. Hey, Megan. Someone fed you the wrong information. This is completely against what you stand for. Relook at this. Wait, wait. But didn't they just tell, didn't they just accuse Megan Kelly of having values that are completely out of whack with the rest of the country? But now they're making an appeal to reason. This isn't what you stand for, Megan. <laughs> Relook at this. Leah Remini is literally on a misinformation campaign against Scientology. Like literally. Because she is upset from being expelled for her misconduct. It has been a decade of this. This is, of course, a Scientology sock account jumping in. I used to listen to her all the time. She made some good points. And now with this decision, she's turned her back on whatever was behind those good points. Oh, yes. What an excellent point. Watch Megan not respond to any of these comments because she's probably been convinced of the misinformation campaign Leah is pushing. More like received a sum of money to put the rest of her credibility on the line. I didn't even read. I hadn't even read that one. So the fact that they are attacking Megan for accepting money to put her credibility on the line is a perfect introduction to the video of Megan with um, Elena Cardone. So <laughs> give me a second while I get my screen sharing sorted out properly here. OK, we'll go full screen on this. We'll go da 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 da. Let's see what these guys have to say. See there? Oh my gosh. 10X Lady. Happening August 4th link. and 5th. Hit the link. The link. Megan Kelly <laughs> is on. Like Donkey Kong. Awesome. See there? Woo! Let's go. 10X right Lady, on. folks. See you there. You're awesome, Megan. Nothing but class right there. Um, <laughs> why in God's name does Megyn Kelly accept money to support, promote, and endorse Grant Cardone and Elena Cardone? Never mind the fact that they're Scientologists. They're con people. They're con artists. They're running scams on people. Does Megan need the money? So I'm a little conflicted. I got to be honest. For the last three or four weeks, I've been trying. It's you know, it never quite rises to the top of my list. I've been supposed to do. I've been meaning to do. I've been trying to do a video calling out Megan Kelly for supporting the Cardones. Now I sort of backed into doing that video by starting out with the fact that Megan Kelly is being attacked by Scientology. I'm almost not sure which side of this thing, you know, to support. <laughs> it's one of these things where, I mean, the inconsistency in all of this. I know that Megyn Kelly very much hates Scientology. I know that Megyn Kelly is very much a fan of Leah Remini and Mike Rinder. And I also know that she's been supporting the Cardones. So when I watched this segment, I was probably struck more than anyone else would be by the fact that she seemed so kind of fair and balanced on the subject of the lawsuit. 
In other words, she didn't give her own opinion. She spoke about Mike as if maybe he was an acquaintance at best. Uh, when I think Mike Rinder considers Megyn Kelly a friend. But, you know, there, uh, you, you never know. Like, if she, Megyn Kelly doesn't have to, you know, put her heart on her sleeve in every video and let everyone know what her, you know, I don't know, how she feels about Mike and Leah. It's just that she has in the past. Like, when she was interviewing Mike, she wasn't shy. She wasn't trying to be some, you know, um, fair and balanced to all size journalist or something. It was very clear how Megyn Kelly personally felt about Mike Rinder, Leah Remini, Scientology, those who stand up to Scientology. <sighs> and yet she supports the Cardones. And I just don't know what to make of it. I'm, I'm not even here. I, I, I literally don't know what to make of it. I just don't. Uh, it, it does seem the irony is pretty thick to have Scientology now attacking her and attacking her so hard for a clip that was a nothing clip. When Megan is a huge supporter of one of Scientology's biggest recruiters, it doesn't make any goddamn sense no matter which way you slice it. So if you happen to be a fan of Megan Kelly, if you happen to be someone who's in her live chats, if you happen to be, I don't know, someone who has anything to do with her, please try to bring it to her attention that she's publicly supporting Scientology when she supports Grant Cardone and, and Elena Cardone. And there's no way she supports them just because they're friends. Nobody supports Grant Cardone unless they're getting paid. That's a fact. And I just can't believe someone like Megyn Kelly needs the money. And as soon as I say that, I know it falls flat. I mean, freaking Tom Brady accepted a few million dollars to go and speak at one of Grant Cardone's um, conferences. I, I mean, Tom Brady doesn't need $4 million. I was told $4 million is what he was paid to appear at Cardone's conference for about 15 minutes. Now, look, maybe anyone will do something for 15 minutes for $4 million. But it's like, but to, to attach yourself, your reputation or what, what you know, I, I know, I know Megan's a politically divisive person, but, you know, these political pundits have their reputations, at least in their spheres of influence. So even if you don't like Megan Kelly, she does have a reputation amongst her peers to attach yourself to a grifter and a Scientologist like Grant Cardone and Elena Cardone. I don't get it, you guys. Maybe you can help make sense of it for me because I've been I've been chewing on this for like four weeks now. And I, I guess I'm at least a little relieved that she swung back over to this end of the pendulum. But but did she really? I mean, she, you know, she did a five minute segment on the lawsuit. That's great. I'm happy. I'm thrilled that she did it. If this was any other context, this would be nothing but yay. Megyn Kelly's great for covering, you know, the lawsuit. But she did seem a little cool about it, didn't she? Cool meaning like not warm, not super hot on it. And it has to make it has to get her brain um, uh, working in overdrive a little bit to be like, I'm being attacked by Scientology for that. Please, guys, help Meg and Kelly understand that Grant and Elena Cardone are two of the biggest supporters of Scientology, two of the biggest recruiters of Scientology. She's helping the team that's attacking her. Just doesn't make any sense, you guys. All right, let's see. Um, quick, I'll jump through the super chats here. Freezing your project. Wait, who has the money to bribe people and have a history of it? Leah or Scientology? I think that would be Scientology. Absolutely. Um, all right. I don't like getting political on this stuff, but I opened the door by bringing Megan Kelly on. So there you go. Honestly, given most of Megan's trash values, she'd be totally in line with L. Ron Hubbard. These attacks from Scientology are hilarious. All right. Scarlet Begonias. I have posted on Megan Kelly, Mike Rowe, and Vivek Ramaswamy's YouTube channels many times about their support. That's right. Mike Rowe hates Scientology. Mike Rowe supports Grant Cardone. There's no way Mike Rowe does that for free. He's being paid to support Grant Cardone. Maybe Mike doesn't know Grant Cardone is one of the biggest supporters and funders and recruiters of Scientology. I don't know. I did get a video clip of Vivek Ramaswamy's. He's the guy running for president or he, yeah, he's running for president. He also appeared at Grant Cardone's conference. I got to be honest. When it comes to politicians running for office, wanting to speak to any audience, I don't expect Vivek to care whether Grant Cardone is a Scientologist. I, 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 that, that didn't bother me so much because he's doing a thing that requires reaching as many people as possible. And there's just a ton of people out there that don't care that Grant's a Scientologist. So when I did get sent that video, 
I, I didn't plan on doing anything with it, but you've mentioned it. And, and so there it is. Uh, KC Cat, uh, always good to see you. I don't know why I'm acting like I don't know how to say her name. <laughs> Leah filing this lawsuit could end up to be a double rainbow. In the end, all of this attention could get investigators looking and finally yanking Scientology's 501c3. Well, it's definitely... Um, it's definitely going to help. That's for sure. I, you know, there's, there's never going to be one thing that's like the tipping point. Uh, it, it, it really is going to come pressure from Congress, to be honest, it's got to come from pressure from Congress and the ways and means committee, or is it means and ways? I don't know, guys, I get it wrong every single time I try to say it, but yes, I do believe that the massive media attention on this lawsuit, but not the media attention per se the substance of the lawsuit itself i believe is going to be so freaking damaging to scientology that it actually it actually would be i i believe it will be a major step towards getting the irs to review the tax exempt status um all right everyone that is all i have on this for now this might be my last video of the evening uh but we'll see thank you guys for watching thanks to everyone who watches until the very end and i'll talk to you soon Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not,